Hey, look to our family. Welcome back to the channel, man. It's your boy, Mr. Watoa. Today, today, today. Hey, yo, skirt, skirt, man. Check this out, yo. Today, we got a video. It's called 18 year old boy guest dies in his sleep. Rest in peace to this soul. Rest in peace to this brother. Uh, right now, we're going to watch the video. Um, I want us to. I want us to take this video seriously, so I'm not going to go through the whole intro like I normally do, so I just want to go ahead and get into this video, okay, with our family? All right, let's get into it. A dear brother of ours has passed away, Muhammad Yaqub Janel, at the age of 18, whom you may remember was on the show with us a few years ago. How does it feel to connect to Allah Yaqub? It's an unexplainable love where you feel this connection, where if you ask for something, you you don't guarantee you're gonna get it, but 90% of the time you think it's gonna be accepted. Your dua. At the age of 18, and there was nothing wrong with him. He was perfectly healthy, not a worry, not a care in the world. His whole life ahead of him. He went to sleep and didn't wake up in the morning. I remember meeting him the first time. He must have been about 12 years old. We were at a fundraising dinner and he was sitting there on the dinner table and, and he pledged $5,000 that night. And I remember looking at him and we sort of had a bit of a joke and I said, where did you get $5,000 from? You know, and he looked at me with this Allah with so much heart and so much Iman in his eyes. He said, you don't worry about where I got my $5,000 from. But I remember he pledged it and he paid it. And I got the news when I was in Mina tents. We were doing Hajj and I was in Mina tents. And the news came to me that Muhammad had passed away. Wallah, and I remember the bitter feeling that I got, the bitterness. I was so upset, not just upset, but I was so bothered that such is this world that you can never enjoy anything fully because the reality of death is always there. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he says, increase, increase much the remembrance of death, for verily it is the destroyer of all desires. You know, there are no guarantees in life. Allah hasn't guaranteed anyone anything except for one thing. The only guarantee that Allah made with every human being, regardless of your color, your race, your religion, your age, your health, the only guarantee that we all have is death. Allah says every soul shall taste death and death will find you no matter where you are in the darkest hole, in the lowest valley, Wallah in the summit of the highest mountain, death will come to you and it will come as a shock. It will come unannounced. You know, Ali bin Abi Talib, عنه, he says, he says, people are asleep. We're asleep, my brothers. Trust me, you and I, we think we're living. You and I, we think we're living because we're chasing our dreams and our whims and our desires and our ambitions. But Ali says, he says, people are asleep. And when they die, they wake up. But only when we wake up, it's too late, bro. Because there ain't no coming back. What is it that we're really chasing? You know, it's not like you and I don't know that we're not going to die. But we all have this illusion. We all have this fantasy that we've, that we've created in our minds. You know, this life plan that I have of mine. This, this dream that I'm going to grow up one day to be this amazing person who's going to be famous and rich and have this amazing car and this beautiful house and marry this beautiful woman and have these amazing children. This is my plan. And right at the end of this beautiful journey that I'm sketching out on this canvas of mine, right at the end there, you know, I've allowed for death, but I've allowed for this noble ending. The reality is Allah doesn't work around my plan and your plan. He's the one that plans. He's the one that designs. He's the one that calls. He's the one that orders. The Prophet was asked Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and I will end with this. He was asked Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that, O Prophet of Allah, who is the one that is most wise? He said, the one that is most wise is the one that plans for his death mm. and he does good deeds in preparation of his death. 
And when he was asked, O Prophet of Allah, and who is the one that is most foolish? He said, the most foolish is the one chasing his whims and his desires. This is the greatest loser. Be honest with yourself. Where do you fit in this hadith? Are we from the ones that are most wise? Or are we really from the foolish? <clears throat> what I want to say with 12 families, I want to say rest in peace to Muhammad. Um, I just started watching One Path Network like a couple of months ago, like right before, um, like, yeah, right before Ramadan this year. And um, so I didn't know too much about this story. And just to look at it now, uh, to have to have someone pass away in their sleep, that is the most like, you could say it's the most peaceful way to go, but it's also like the most like, like almost just unexpected, you know, because when you go to sleep, you're just in your mind, you're not thinking of in, especially if you if you've been healthy, you're not thinking of anything negative. You're just thinking, okay, when I um, go to sleep and when I wake up, I have this plan. You go to sleep and realize that your plan is not according to your plan it's according to God's plan and that right there is the the message that I'm getting from this um, from this video and I do want to send my condolences and then the Watwa family we are sending our condolences out to Muhammad's family and um, I just want to uh, just put my prayers out to Muhammad's family I want to say sorry for your loss and I also want to thank this this you know this network of one path um it's a very good network if you guys aren't familiar with it i'm gonna put the link to this video in the um, description i want you guys to click the link and subscribe to their channel um they're a very very noble channel very respectable channel i love that channel um you know it's not easy it's, it's not easy to talk about death um it, it is something that's everybody's gonna go through you know, everybody's going to go through. And honestly, a lot of us don't even plan it. You know, even now, you know, my mind just clicked just now because, you know, the other day I was planning. I'm like, yeah, I'm I'm, I'm going to graduate at the end of the year. I'm, I'm going to uh, try to visit this place. I'm going to try to see these people. I'm going to. But everything I'm planning, even like my life plan, I never notice about I never plan like death. You know what I'm saying? Like I never planned for that. And it's very scary to think about, you know, when you think about it. So, what's my family? I know it's hard for me to talk about death. And yeah. I just pray. I just pray for everyone to be good. You know, I know we do a lot on this channel. And I just pray that we all can just be do good and, and learn, learn from Muhammad, learn from him. Be able to be good people, you know. So it's our family, it's your boy, Mr. Latoya. If this is your first time on the channel, please subscribe. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Please stay safe. That's why every time, every video, I always end it out with take care and stay safe. Please take care and stay safe. Mwah. Peace.